In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Kyrie Irving and some of his highest IQ basketball moments so that you can improve your basketball IQ as well. So let's get down and let's check out Kyrie Irving. Okay, so this first play is absolutely fantastic and something that you can do as well with the drop-off pass for the three-point shot. So basically, right here, he's basically looking over his shoulder over the past couple of frames. Right about there, he's looking over his shoulder. And what he's scanning for is to see what these defensive players are doing. When he looks back, he wants to see what his defensive player is doing because right here, he has a th really good three-point shooter that he can get open. To get that three-point Point shooter open what he does is he attacks the middle of the key which forces his main defender to drop off and continue to guard Kyrie Irving anytime that you want to get a player open who is behind you cut across the court because this is the dead spot or at least this is the death spot for the defense and they don't want anybody going up the middle they want everyone to go along the sidelines so because of that you can then drop off that pass to the three-point shooter who was behind you and if he has a fast enough shot he can get that up these drop passes are extremely deadly for players who are trying to stop three-point shots or just trying to stop the play in general this next play is absolutely fantastic and we can all do these passes too in fact in a pickup game with the players that I coached they were all going crazy over passes like this so to be able to be running a play like this what you need to do is to be able to scan what the defense is doing and then notice that the player you're trying to pass to if he has an open lane if he has an open lane he's able to then get that bounce pass and definitely do the bounce pass because when it comes to running the bounce pass that's way too low for these defenders to be able to pick it off you don't want to do lob passes here because it gives Gives time for the defense to catch up and pick it off so bounce passes right here of course preferable here he's able to get his teammate an open layup at the basket also being able to read plays and read what defenders are doing is also something that is very important and here he's able to get that ball into the basket for for his teammate because of the pass that he made so here this player is coming off of a corner staggered pin down screen when that player came off of that screen, instead of passing him the ball here, that player is able to drive and cut towards the rim because Kyrie Irving was able to pass to him on this side of the defender. If he passed up top, that would have given time for this defender to come off and hedge. But by passing on this side of his defender, that doesn't give enough time for that hedging player to defend, and that then allows that lane to open right there we can see it happen right there and because of that lane that player was able to get that layup now coming off of this half court screen and roll he attacks the basket hard and this is important because this forces that screener's defender to really hedge hard on you now again remember what i was mentioning earlier anytime that you have a player behind you try to go towards the middle of the key and that will draw that player towards you and that's exactly what we see here that forced the hand of that defender to come out and hedge this then opened up a lane for De deandre jordan to be able to cut to the rim and he was then able to finish with a massive slam dunk also here we can see that he was about to use potentially Allen as a dribble handoff and then what his defender did was he tried to cheat he tried to cut off that ability for Kyrie Irving to use that DHO so if a player tries to cut you off from using a screen or using a DHO what you can do is to cut back towards the basket which then opens you up to an open lane potentially However, here, this defender dropped off and gave Allen an open lane to the basket. Because of this, he was able to get that pass back to Allen for the massive slam dunk or posterization. This is actually a massively underrated pass as well. These underhand bounce passes are so underrated. No kid does it anymore, and I feel like I'm the only old guy who does them. I'm 31. But basically, if you've got the ability, if you've got multiple players who can pick off a pass, especially a guy who's literally in the passing lane, what you can do is just an underhand, even a little bit of a spin pass. He put a little bit of a spin on that pass so that that ball can bounce over here and spin back to his teammate. And because of that, his teammate's able to get that, has the open lane to the basket, and gets to the rim. 
So by understanding where your teammates are, but also where the defense is and their tendencies, we can really start being able to score ourselves or help our teammates to score by literally cutting across a lane, drawing that hedge, and then dropping it off to a player who's either cutting to the rim or for a three-point shot. Also being able to experiment with different types of passes. That underhand pass as an example is fantastic to use at any age. You just have to have the strength to be able to do those passes. Or if you're in the low post, which obviously Kyrie Irving doesn't do, you can do an underhand pass as well behind you and they can be actually pretty accurate. I hope that this video has helped you become a better passer and have better court vision. If it does, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.